living in Philadelphia, growing up. What inspired you to become an electrician? <sighs> One of my mentors I had in middle school told me to never let anyone tell me that I can't. Those are people that I remember coming into this and feeling like, okay, I do belong. I do belong here. I always had an interest in the electrical industry. I originally went to college for electrical engineering and from there transitioned into the more hands-on field of being a union electrician. My name is Tila Almond. I am an instructor, recruiter, and coordinator for Rosie's Girls Pre-Apprenticeship Program, apprentice training for the electrical industry and IBEW Local 98. While in technical school, I was able to see some of the components that you work with as an electrician. While learning about that in sort of a pre-apprenticeship application, I noticed that I truly enjoyed it. I applied to IBW Local 98. It was the best choice that I ever made. You don't have to go to college first. You can come to the trades and see what that environment actually is. And then it comes into the panel. I wish that I had considered, instead of going along with the trail of where people told me to go as a young person, I would have did it a lot sooner had I had that opportunity. So that both of these will shut off at the same time for safety. The mission of Rosie's Girls is to begin the familiarization of what the trade is and theoretical understanding of what to expect when entering into the building trades or the electrical trade. Teaching the trades to women has been undervalued. That's why we made sure that Rosie's Girls was the name of our pre-apprenticeship program to remind folks of the days when women were a prominent feature when it came to construction, when it came to any sort of military input, and reminding women that it didn't stop because they weren't capable. This is a male-dominated industry. However, our input is very needed when it comes to where construction is going. The panels are angled so that they can get the most sun possible. There's so many jobs that are gonna be available within the next 10, 20 years where we need those people. And we've only been looking at not even a half of the talent, but a quarter of it. So being able to introduce young women into it and young women of color, that's very important. IT, 25. Every day when I come into this building, I'm reminded of the fact that I was also an apprentice here. And now I'm able to share that level of learning that I had when I was coming in here. Hold on. Whew. I got, no, I got a little emotional just then. That's, that's really what happened. It's very full circle. Ethernet is gonna come in to hear you. It is a wonderful feeling to know that from their perspective, I also was in their shoes when I am in a classroom teaching or if we're just having a conversation. It's an opportunity to also be there for the women that we have in our apprenticeship training and to remind them that they have someone that is rooting for them. Don't worry, I'm watching, make sure you're good. There is no limit to what you can do while you are here. You made it into this industry, you made it into a sisterhood, and now we can make sure that you feel comfortable moving forward with your career. I hope that with Rosie's, other folks are able to see what we're doing, to be able to instill that into their areas so that it can not just be Rosie's in Philly, but Rosie's in a sense, that mindset of women can do it. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't.